So upgrading your electrical service is a big project and it should not be done by a homeowner. It needs to be done by a licensed electrician. So what I've done is called the utility company and I've had them come in and disconnect their wires from your home where they tie in and energize your home. Okay, so that's why they look like they've been cut? That's correct. Each one of these wires carries 120 volts to your house and we can reuse them. So there's no power to the house right now? That's correct. I have a portable generator that I've hooked up which will allow me to run some lights and some small power tools while I upgrade your service. Okay. Power company owns this glass meter and also the wires coming in from the street. Everything else is your responsibility as the homeowner, which is this cable providing power to this metal enclosure here, which holds the meter called a meter socket. Now with the power off, I'm going to go ahead and remove this glass meter from the meter socket. Okay, now everything else left on the side of your house is going to be replaced. Nice job. Now this is your new meter socket. It's rated for 200 amps. The power comes in through the top, ties onto these two terminals, goes through the meter, comes out on the bottom two terminals, and then goes through this hole. On the back, as you can see, there's a connector that holds the wire that goes into your house. Now the existing hole is too small for the new 200 amp wire, so I need to go ahead and drill a new hole. Okay, at this point, we've gone through the uh, outside vinyl siding and the sheathing. We're going to go ahead and use this smaller diameter hole saw, which has an extension that will get us the rest of the way through the house. Perfect, we're through the house. So what we have here is 200 amp rated SE cable. The SE stands for service entrance. What the cable does, it brings power from the meter socket inside your home to the electrical panel. Now I've gone ahead already and put the cable through the connector here. Now I'm going to flip this over. You can see that the connector has a plastic bushing which prevents any of the wires from getting chafed. And we have two wires, the conductors. They're 120 volts each. And then we have a neutral conductor, which brings the power back to the pole. Gently pull it all the way in, and that's good, Ken. So now what I'm going to do is put this level on here and make sure that it's level. We're going to use these stainless steel screws that are prepared by putting a little more of the duct seal on it, and that prevents any moisture from getting inside the meter. This is how the power used to travel into your home. Through these three cables, we have a weather head, which prevents water from entering the cable, and the cable goes to the top of the meter socket. Here's your new service entrance. It's got the same three wires, heavier gauge though. And we have a weather head. Inside, I've added this duct seal, which prevents any water from entering the pipe. And now we have this really rigid PVC conduit, and the conduit offers the wires inside a lot more protection. Let's go ahead and put it in place. Very good. So we have one final glue connection here that I need to make. And also, we're going to take the clips. We're going to put them on the house to secure the pipe every couple of feet. So the most important part of every electrical system is proper ground. These copper ground rods will ensure that the electricity always has a safe path to ground, which prevents electrocution. So I'll push this in as far as it'll go by hand, and then I'll finish it off with a sledgehammer. All right, you do the next one six feet away. It's important to have all underground utilities marked before any ground rods are driven into the ground. You don't want to hit a water line or a gas line. So we've completed burying the wire underground, which connects this ground rod to this ground rod. The cable travels underground up this conduit to this inter-system bonding termination. This bonding termination, it allows the cable, internet, and phone companies to tie in safely to your system. You can see the cable's already been installed. The wire runs up into the meter socket. Now I'm ready to connect the power wires into the meter socket.
Now I've gone ahead and torqued the connections properly. The power travels down these wires to these terminals through the meter, comes out the bottom terminals, goes inside your house. The neutral conductor feeds straight through and goes inside your house. Let's go ahead and install the meter now. And the cover. Now let's go ahead and start our work inside. Mm -hmm. 